That's right. That's okay. I just hit the record button there. You know, yeah, it, was, we... it was quite interesting to see that because I think Eric also made a documentary about Tyler Helinski's life. I think it was an hour long documentary yeah. that he made. And then when I watched a video of yours explaining that Tyler's suicide was a catalyst for you committing to make it through your depression. Yes. I thought, wow, that's. That connects yeah. with uh, something I've been working on lately. Well, Eric and I talked about that. And um, so, yeah, he's in touch with the Helenskis. I'm still in touch with them. You know, it's just a tragic thing that happened. But it's, it's too bad that that's the only time this kind of topic gets big attention is when it happens to a high-profile person. You know, because we have suicides every single day in this country, dozens of them, if not hundreds of them, and nobody talks about it. That's really cool to hear you say that in a way, because that, that's exactly the, the conclusion that I've come to as well. Um, one of the ways that I started paying attention to the issue of suicides and particularly youth suicides yeah. is that um, a legislator in Washington state uh, put forth a bill this year, the 2021 legislative session, and that bill was about preventing youth suicides. Good, good. So, so I looked at the data from the CDC over the last five years of available data, 2015 to 2019. Yep. And I noticed that um, about 80% of those suicides were young men taking their lives. But I also noticed that in the conversation among the legislators in those early uh, hearings that took place in the committees before it went to the floor for a vote, there was yep. no acknowledgement of the, the gender disparity aspect of suicide. But I did think, holy smoke. So when I look at that number and see about uh, maybe 160 young men per year in Washington state take their lives and yes. about 40 young women. So one of those 160 I could think of as, as a Tyler Helensky. But just like mm -hmm. you say, there's 159 others who are not nearly so high profile. They don't play division one sports. So they're not, you know, they're not in the papers and they're not having ESPN focus on them. This is the problem, yeah. So. My whole thing is just try to bring some more awareness to it all and uh, try to destigmatize this whole topic of mental health. And, um, you know, I think it's just going to take time. I think it's going to take more and more people talking about it, being OK, talking about it and uh, encouraging others to talk about it and reach out for help when they go through things.